Okay, Pete Diamond here in Jacksonville, Florida. Troy built TB30R. I've had several people ask me, how do you replace the battery? So this is a real quick video on how to get that done. Now MTD makes this mower and they make it um, under various different brands. I know that Craftsman or Sears had a model. Um, Cub Cadet has one. So there are several different um, Mostly it's just the color of the plastic that they change. Everything else is pretty much the same. However, I'm not going to guarantee that what is in this video is the same for everybody. But if you look at the bracket, the uh, battery here, this is your retaining bracket. And it's held on by that bolt there, which is a half inch. So you get yourself a half inch socket and an extension so you can reach in there. And the first step is going to be remove that retaining bracket. Now I've changed my battery, I think twice since I've owned this mower. And I just did it just recently. I found that the batteries last about two years so there's that that's the bracket and then the next thing you're going to need to do is to undo the two battery cables um, so that retaining nut is half inch for the bracket and then the battery terminal nuts are um, what is this seven sixteenths so get a seven sixteenth socket and for those that are unfamiliar with working with um, batteries, you always want to disconnect the negative terminal first. The reason being that this is grounded to the frame. If you start to disconnect the positive terminal first and your wrench contacts any part of the frame, you will short and give yourself a little bit of joy. So. There's no need to get on the back side of this bolt, and I'll show you why. You can just loosen it off. You keep the bolt pulled towards you, and you'll understand how this works in a second. So the nut comes off, and you can push the bolt through. What you'll notice on this bolt is it has that squared chamfer and that's designed to be retained in that square hole so that the bolt doesn't spin around when you undo the nut. Okay, super easy. So then you're going to repeat the same. Now the positive side on this mower has a little red dust cover on it so you just slide that out of the way and you repeat the process remove the nut here and that bolt is exactly the same as the negative side so now that we're done with that the battery is loose and this is going to be tricky to do one handed but basically all you got to do is just pop the bottom corner of this battery up over this holding bracket and then the battery will come out that way. So let's have a go at that. So actually I lied. The easiest way to get it out, I forgot, is, is you lift the battery straight up and it will hit this plastic shroud, but it moves enough to be able to get it out of the way. So if you lift the battery straight up, then you can kick out this side, rest it on the frame there, and then you can just lift the battery up and out. The only thing you may encounter is you'll have to fight the um, throttle cable. So just push that around and get it where you need it to be. But as you can see, the battery's coming right out. And there it is, done. Um, I've had pretty good success with these 
Duracell EU1Ls. Um, they're not very expensive. I buy them at Sam's Club. I can't remember what I paid for this. Um, I want to say it was it was less than 50 bucks. It was, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, I think. Um, but they'll work great until you just get on the mow one day and it's dead as a doornail. And you can put a charger on it. You might get it to crank. You can jump it. But the battery's dead. And like I said, it lasts... Um, about two years maybe uh two and a half years um something like that so if you get three out of it you're doing great and uh it comes with a meaningless six month warranty so anyway putting it back in is the reverse of that uh other tip is take the battery out and take it with you when you buy it and then you don't have to worry about the core charge and bringing the old battery back you can just do a straight swap while you're at the store um, Home Depot does sell lawn batteries never bought one there don't know what they're like and most auto parts stores and Walmart um, sell them and like I said I've had pretty good success with this type so hope that helps those of you who are trying to change the battery on one of these mowers And of course putting it in is just the reverse so again this time start with the positive terminal and then do the negative one last and this is that throttle cable i was telling you about now it's got some play in it so don't be afraid to push it around as you need to to fight to get that battery back in um, but it's pretty straightforward So just snug up the bolt. You may need to push it through to keep that square chamfer inside the notch on the terminal. Um, just get it snug, don't have to go crazy with it. And then slide your boot back down over the top. Okay, then we're just gonna do the negative one. See how that bolt goes into that square and that's the way you want to have it you want to have the bolt through and then put your terminal on this side if you put your terminal on the other side it stops that square from going into the hole and your bolt will just spin so let me get that put back you'll see it retains that bolt doesn't spin and again give it a little snug don't have to go caveman and then next step will be put the bracket back on and we're done so here's a little trick obviously this bracket goes in pushes the battery down right and you got to reach all the way in and the easiest way to do that is to put your fastener in your socket but if you ever try to do that you'll know that it just falls out so if you take a piece of um, blue towel or whatever or a piece of paper and I'll show you how to use that to make that bolt stay in place so all you do is just rip off a piece of the blue towel put it over the socket and then push the bolt down in it and it gives it sufficient resistance that it won't just fall out I'm going to tear the rest of that paper off and then uh, we'll get that bracket put back in so bolt through the bracket I'm just going to slide that back and tighten it up into the hole just do it finger tight and get my ratchet on it
and again just snug it don't have to go caveman and then that's how that works there it is all done pretty simple so P Diamond here hope this helps thanks for watching